Hi, my name's Anne Duncan and I hope you're having a brilliant day, whichever day it is that you're looking at this video. I just wanted to cut this brief video just to have a little bit of a chat with you about attraction marketing and how powerful it can be and how much money it can bring into your coffers if you learn how to do it properly, you learn the skills. It's all about knowing what something is, but we've got to learn how to put it into practice. The best analogy really I've heard of this was just very recently. Uh, Larry Beecham likened it to sitting down and, you know, the people who don't do attraction marketing properly and, and say it doesn't work. Uh, likening it to sitting down some school kids and teaching them how the different chest pieces on a chessboard are allowed to move, how they should move. The kids go rushing home. Oh, Mum, Dad, I can play chess. Fabulous. Well, actually, no, they can't. They know how the pieces move. But they can't actually play the game of chess yet. They need to learn a few more skills. And that's really what attraction marketing is all about. It's about knowing the pieces, but also learning the skills to hang it all together. It's not about buying leads and cold calling. It's not about posting your pitch on people's Facebook walls and groups where people don't even know who you are. Um, it's about getting to know people, it's about building relationships, it's about finding out what people need, what, what they want, what information they're lacking. Jim Rohn says that we don't get paid for our time, we get paid for the value we bring to the marketplace. So if we can be valuable to people, they in return will we'll, we'll build a good relationship with them. And that's really what attraction marketing is all about, is giving value to other people. And then they'll want to work with you because they perceive you as being a valuable person to be around. So the top tips really are, number one, be self-expressed. Be yourself. If you have quirky little habits, don't be afraid to show them because the people who you will work well with are the people who will be attracted to your quirky little habits. So it's just, you know, be yourself. If you like to laugh, have some fun. If you're very formal naturally, then be very formal. Just however you are, just let it all hang out, as they say. So just be yourself. The other thing is listen. Listen to what people want. Just ask questions and then zip up and just listen. And, it, you know, because not everyone, we can make, we make assumptions. People, one of the favourite things that people say about getting into network marketing is for financial freedom. And that's true for me. And it's true for a lot of people that would say, oh yeah, financial freedom. But that financial freedom means something completely different to, to someone else than it does to me. So you've got to find out what it means to them. It might be retirement. It might be putting the kids through school. Maybe they've got loads of financial freedom. Maybe they want to meet new people. Maybe they want to learn new things. There's all sorts of reasons people get into network marketing and come online to try and market their business. So find out what it is. And then you can match up the information you have available to you with exactly what it is that they need. So that's important too. The third point really I would say is match it up. Make sure you know you you, you you be yourself, you listen to what people have to say, you match up what you have to offer with what they need. There's two big things that people need. The two biggest things people need when they start network marketing are more qualified leads and not to run out of money before they're, they're with auto ship and what the all the rest of it before their business becomes profitable. And that's down to really marketing. And you know, there's no reason why people should know about marketing. But seek out people. If, you know, if you're one of these people, seek out people who do know about marketing. Seek out systems that will help you. And for goodness sake, learn how to practice attraction marketing. It is so much simpler. And it's a lot more fun. You'll see next to this video a link. And I want you to go to that link and click on it and take Mike Dillard's free attraction marketing. Magnetic sponsoring it's called. There's free video training. And I mean, I have all, I think I have all these products. They're just so good. Listen to the video, and I, I honestly, I urge you, buy the Magnetic Sponsoring Manual. You will find it enthralling. It, it just captures you. It just takes you right through, and you're nodding the whole way through. I sat and read it in one go. In fact, I've got a second one. I bought the first one about three or four years ago when it first came out, when he first launched his first magnetic sponsoring. And I, I bought another one again just a few months ago. And I still was enthralled to read the whole thing from, from cover to cover. Uh, and it just explains it so clearly. And you think, oh, yeah, that's, well, why, why was I complicating things? Because we do, we complicate things. So that's what to do. Be self-expressed. Listen to what people say. 
match your offerings to what that individual person needs and just hone your skills. So as I say, click on the link, you'll enjoy the free training and I do urge you to get Mike Dillard's Magnetic Sponsoring. Sam Duncan, I'll catch you again. Bye for now.